V. Anton Sprawl here, talking about how software works. In this video, I'm going to be talking about VSync. What is it? Why would you want it? And why might you not want it? VSync is a technique used in real time graphics, especially those used for video games. It's often an option under advanced settings in PC games. But what does it do exactly? To understand that, we have to talk about how graphics get displayed. Inside the graphics hardware of a computer or game console is a block of memory known as the display buffer. The numbers in this memory are used to set the colors of the dots on the monitor or television screen, which are known as pixels. This is known as a refresh, and depending on the screen, it occurs at least 60 times a second, and maybe 120 or more. Of course, the images you see in a game are drawn in real time. Each new image is known as a frame. The graphics processor doesn't draw frames in the display buffer, though, because if it did, you might see the image in the middle of its creation when it was time for the screen to do its next refresh. Instead, it uses a technique known as double buffering. There is another buffer that the graphics processor uses as a fresh canvas. After the new frame is complete, the graphics processor tells the screen to use the second buffer as the display buffer, and then starts working on the next frame in what used to be the display buffer. The problem is that this switch between the display buffer and the secondary buffer can happen in the middle of a refresh. This is known as tearing, because what you end up with is a horizontal split between part of the old frame and part of the new frame. Now, as with a lot of other different visual artifacts, some people more easily recognize tearing than others. It's most easily seen during horizontal movement on the screen, like when you rapidly turn your player in a game. Some people are really bothered by this, and some people just don't seem to notice. VSync is one solution for this problem. This stands for vertical synchronization, and technically refers to timing signals used in video streams. For our purposes, what it's talking about is controlling the timing of this switch between the buffers, so that it only happens at the end of a refresh. When a new frame is ready, the processor waits until the refresh is over before switching buffers. This completely eliminates tearing. But there's a catch. The time elapsed between finishing the frame and waiting for the refresh is just wasted. Consider this. Suppose you have a monitor that refreshes 60 times per second, and the game you're playing is rendering at a speed a little below that. That means that the time it takes for the graphics hardware to create a frame is just slightly longer than one refresh cycle. So if we vsync, each time a new frame is completed, we will have just started a second refresh cycle. Now the graphics processor will sit on its hands until that second refresh is complete. That means we'll only display a new frame every two refresh cycles, and that means our frame rate has dropped from a little under 60 to exactly 30. Not cool. To avoid this problem, we can use triple buffering. With three buffers, in our previous example, once we finish the frame, we can start work on another frame right away in the third buffer. When the screen refresh cycle ends, the display buffer switches to the second buffer, while the graphics hardware continues to work in the third buffer. So the buffers keep changing roles. One buffer for display, one ready to go, and one in the works. In this way, we get no tearing and the graphics processor keeps busy. Triple buffering can still produce anomalies though, as we can see in this example. We're getting a pattern where every odd numbered frame is displayed twice, and every even numbered frame is displayed once a kind of stuttering. Again, this is something that some people will pick up on during gameplay, and other people won't notice at all. So is there an ultimate solution? One idea is variable refresh rate screens. That is, rather than having the screen constantly updating at a fixed rate, regardless of when frames are ready, in the future, we may have screens that update at the same rate as the rendering. No tearing, no loss of frame rate, no stuttering, just rock solid display performance. That's it for this episode. 
If you find software interesting and want to know more about how it works, please like and or subscribe. If you'd like to learn more about how games produce graphics, you can read all about that in Chapter 5 of my new book, How Software Works. Also, feel free to suggest topics for future videos. Thanks.